Hey guys, this is Gabriel Roberts from Roberts Bushcraft. Today we're going to restore an antique uh, fireplace heat shield. Now this thing has a nautical theme to it, which Dad and I absolutely love. This is a, uh, it's just a beautiful piece that's going to go in our log cabin. We've got apple cider vinegar here. And just a stiff nylon bristle brush. All we're going to do here. Just dump a little bit of this on here. They're going to use the abrasion of the brush just to start scraping some of this off. What I'm going to do first here is just knock off all the loose stuff and just kind of see where we're at. Maybe I tried to paint it before and that's kind of what that blue stuff was there. That was paint. Now the uh, eventual goal is to coat this in a rust-oleum high heat paint. Let me readjust this here in a second to get a better. So on uh, small spots, like right in through here, just around this ship really easy to use this wire brush to be able to get the detail parts going you see a lot of rust right there and this is easy right off see the majority of the surface rust is gone there that's just the deep pitted stuff We may end up using the uh, wire brush attachment for the angle grinder. We'll try and see if this will work better. Well, not work better, but we want to see if this will work first. So with all the sides and the front cleaned off, I need to get this back cleaned off. Now I'm hoping the angle grinder will be able to take this old paint or whatever this is off. Uh, there's only one way to find out. So let's get started. Let's try it out. All right, she's cleaned off. Gonna get this thing stoved black up. I'm gonna do the front side first, let this uh, corner dry out since the uh, front's already completely dry. Here's what we're gonna be using to coat this with. Rust-Oleum's high heat, flat black. Up to 2000 degrees, so I think it should do just perfect for this project. All right, let's get to work. We're gonna start filling in. I think that's a good coat. I'm gonna leave that some time to dry and then we'll come back to it, see how it looks. 
I'll probably flip it around to the back side and the underside here since that's you know resting on that spot don't want to flip it over quite yet want to give it some time to dry well, let's see what the bottle says here dries to touch in 30 minutes handle in one to two hours you can recoat anytime after one hour okay cool so another hour or two might come out put another coat on but uh we're gonna see where it's at dries the touch in 30 minutes that's very nice because i'll be able to move this around uh here in just a little while so i'll come back out and uh see where we're at here in just a few minutes guys check this out so this is with the first coat of uh, rust-oleum high heat paint and this is looking absolutely perfect. I mean, exactly what we wanted. Now, this is just going to be a fat, uh, a fat, a flat black behind our uh, fire. And like it said, dries to the touch within 30 minutes. This thing is completely dry, except for this little spot up here. So has a little ways to go. What I'm going to go ahead and do is flip this thing around so we can spray the back of this. because that needs to be coated as well. Make sure we get it on those edges nice, nice and uh, cleanly. Kind of go all over it one more time. That's fairly even. Uh, just using my eye here. Even though it looks uh, splotchy on the camera, this is basically <laughs> instantly drying almost. So uh, I'm gonna leave that there for 30 minutes, then we'll come back out, check it out. Probably flip it around, spray the bottom side, and then I've got wrestling practice this evening. So we'll see where it's at. There she is. Mm -hmm. So it's right in the back, just off the wall, just a hair. Now we've not had one of these in here before, obviously. No. So we're not exactly sure where we need to position it. Uh, but right now it's kind of out off the wall just a little bit with a slight lean back. Let me see how well this will radiate heat. And we really fell in love with the way it looked. Hope you have a great day wherever you're at. Drop a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, may the wings of liberty never lose a feather. And God bless.